Good morning, YouTube world. It's your girl, Kimberly. And today we're going to talk about how to grow corn in your home garden. As you can see, this is my beautiful, what I'm going to call my patch of corn. There's about, I would say about 25 um, stalks of corn that I have growing in my home garden. And they're just beautiful. Nice, deep, beautiful green leaves. Very healthy. Look at that. They're beautiful. So we're going to get right to it. Okay. A lot of times people plant corn from seed, which is great because um, I have not seen it done any other way. So planting it from seed is sounds to be like the normal way to do it. Let's check my tag. I planted my corn on April the 13th, 2014. That's my little marker, so I'll know when I planted things so I can kind of keep up with when my harvest will be. Um, this is just beautiful. We started from a seed, and it basically goes from the seed, and from the seed, I would say it totally develops into a wonderful stalk that is nowhere near harvest, or time to harvest, but this just gives you an idea of how beautiful it develops once it goes completely from seed. Look at the green in there, how beautiful that is. But today we're also gonna talk about um, the male part of the corn, which is very important. Um, it helps pollinate the corn and it also gives you signs that soon your ears of corn will be developing. All right, so we're gonna say, this is stage one. Once your ear of corn, or your stalk of corn rather, has developed into the actual stalk itself. This one is about two feet or so high. Very beautiful green. Now we're gonna go over here and we'll look at this one. This, ladies and gentlemen, who've never ever planted corn before, this is a very important part. This is the male part of the corn. It looks like a stem of wheat is what it looks like. And it's very, very beautiful. See that, the ridges on there? That is the male part of the corn. When you start seeing that, you know that ears of corn are soon to be developed. So that's the stage one of the male part of the corn, which is, again, extremely important for pollinating uh, the rest of the corn. The final step of that, which we'll just say step two, is this beautiful brown chandelier of the male part of the corn. This carries all of the pollen to pollinate your ears of corn. You wanna make sure if at all possible, if it doesn't rain in your area, and of course you're gonna water your corn on a regular basis, that you try to water from the bottom up because you wanna keep as much pollen on this part, which is the male stem, as much as possible. This pollinates the corn. Um, as you can see, my corn Stalks are planted very closely together, which is what you want to do because when the wind blows, this will pollinate on the other ears of corn, and that's what you want to do. You don't want to uh, plant your corn and spread it out too far. You want to be able to plant it close so they can pollinate one another. Very, very important. Uh, continue to water your corn. Um, until the actual ears are developed and even then water them on a regular basis because if you don't you will start seeing certain ears of corn are missing um, some of the kernels and that's from not keeping the watering consistent you don't have to overwater, not saturate it just keep the ground nice and moist so again happy gardening I hope you guys learned a lot quickly but I hope you learned a lot about how to grow corn the most important part of the corn which is the male pollinating part i love you guys make sure you subscribe and happy gardening